This segment is brought to you by Carbonite. A little orange, is she? Maybe a little Maybe bit. A little, yeah. a little orange, yeah. not great. <laughs> so we have got some fantastic emails for you guys this week, uh, yes. just curating all the good stuff. So let's check port yes. 110. All right, so the first email comes from Mark. He says, in my world, the cellular industry, we call those spaces guard bands. Love the show and keep up the good work. Oh, thanks so much, Mark. He's actually referring to, if you guys haven't been following along, we're doing a fantastic series here over at Hack Tip. Uh, I'm talking about Wi-Fi 101, everything you ever needed to know, like channels and the different protocols, and we're going to be getting into right. frames and you yeah. know how it all works and how to crack WPA. Anyway, so we were talking about channels here recently and how you know channel one and two and three and they all overlap, but then they're they're also like five megahertz apart, and I called that white space, but it seems that uh, in actually radio yeah. signaling and in audio processing and a bunch of other things, those little tiny spaces in between the bands are called guard bands, so thank you so much, Mark, for sending that along. I love, yeah, that's interesting. I love uh, getting learned up, you know? Yep, and we have a second email from Anonymous. He writes, I was thinking, is there a way to set up D-band on your note notebook to run on a timer? Say if you don't log in w within a certain amount of hours, it will run and wipe everything. Can it be done with any other Nuke program? Um, I don't really know of a way to automate D-Band. I know that you've played with D-Band before as a way to like do that DOD or RCMP yes. wipe on your hard drive so it's like dead. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I get the idea that you're like, you oh no, disordered. my laptop's <laughs> falling into the wrong hands. I want it to kill itself, right? Yeah. You've played, what's, what's the one uh, that you like where like... Um, you, Prey? Where, Prey, yeah. right. And it, does that one have a remote wipe function? Uh, it does not, I don't believe. Okay. Because the only thing that I could Find come up phones. with is, say if you're running uh, Linux, you could you know, write a script here. I'm going to less it right now. Uh, slash var slash log slash auth dot log. Um, this right here is the log file that's going to tell you like, you know, when logins occurred, when they were successful, when they were unsuccessful. The only thing I could really think of is maybe coming up with a script so that it, it pulls that and if too much time has passed, it just does like an RM, TAC RF. I'm sure there's some other Linux tools for doing secure deletes. Okay. Um, some other suggestions on IRC were to embed a USB drive. You can actually, on your laptop, say you've got an external USB port yeah. here, if you open it up and look at the pins on the motherboard, you could solder on an internal, and I've done oh, this before. Right. Yeah, I'm, I remember that. On my that. EPC, I put yeah. a Bluetooth adapter internally, and I just kind of hit it where an extra RAM slot would be. You could hide a USB drive that had like a specially crafted version of D-Band that's automatically set up to nuke your computer, uh, and then set that as the default boot uh, device in the BIOS. So every time you turn on your computer, it would try to nuke it if you didn't like, yeah. you know, hit escape, F12, F1, whatever, and choose the right. But it's not a perfect solution. I don't know. I, I kept this one in the lineup because I want to hear what you guys' thoughts are on this. So leave, you know, what kind of ideas you have. Maybe we could come up with something really cool. So down there in the comments, just leave us some love. Let's, let's figure this one out. It should be good. Cool. All right. We have another email. Mm -hmm. We have a lot this week from Delmar1992. He says, I am a German national. German sports are now available online, but my computer knows that it is in America. Is there a way of tracking the server in the computer into thinking that I'm in Germany so that I can watch it? This also goes for watching Hulu in Germany. Is there a program or a hack that I need? Any suggestions are more than welcome. Well, you know the answer to this. Uh, tunneling, right? Yeah. Yeah. And there's actually a, a really, there's, there's plenty of ways to do it, but there's a commercial service that I was talking to Jen Cutter about uh, when we were doing our E3 episode. She absolutely... Oh, right. She lives in Canada. She so lives in, she can't have, like, Netflix? They now? have Netflix now, but there's still, like, the BBC iPlayer in the right. UK, so you can't watch Top Gear or whatever it is. Oh. Um, or, uh... Or Torchwood. I want to watch some Torchwood. What's the other? Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Yeah. The British version. Yeah. Tangent. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> you can't watch those unless you're actually in that area. Mm -hmm. So uh, she loves this service called Weetopia. W i t o p i a, and they're a VPN service that has. Um, they've got servers all over the world. If you want to connect from Egypt, from the UK, from Germany, if you want to make it look like you're from Canada or Australia right. or wherever, they've got plenty of these services. Uh, I just started playing with the service. They offer uh, SSL VPNs, they offer OpenVPN, they offer PPTP, IPsec, all of the standard, you know, so all, all the protocols stuff. you Ooh. wanted to, well, <laughs> if you wanted to say do IPsec, it would yeah. work on your iPad or oh, it would work on your okay, iPhone or, you know, you'd be able okay. to do it with Linux really easily. So uh, that's one of the options. I've seen a bunch of these commercial VPN services, but I can actually recommend that because Jen recommended it to me. I've started playing with it. 
and it seems pretty oh, cool. It's like cool. 40 bucks a month. They're not a sponsor or anything. I'm just saying like uh, that's one way to do it. Or, hey, if you've got a friend in Germany, you could have him set up a, uh, you yeah, know, you him or her set up, set your, up own your own tunneling thing, right? And we've talked about that in great lengths mm -hmm. in the seventh season on setting up your own VPN server. So we'll have some links in the show notes on how you can actually build your own if cool. you've got some peeps back home that want to do that. Nice. Or All everybody right. could just help each other out in the comments and be like, hey, get on my server. Okay, well, yeah. stay tuned <laughs> because we'll be right back with this week's Technolist photo and the trivia after a quick break. Computer disasters eventually happen to everyone, so it is best to be prepared. Get Carbonite Online backup beforehand and live worry-free as your files will be backed up off-site automatically. Getting your files back is even easier too. Access them anytime, anywhere from your computer, your smartphone, or an iPad with the free Carbonite app. Carbonite Unlimited backup for your PC or Mac is just $59 a year. That's less than $5 a month. But as a Hack 5 viewer, you'll get two months free with purchase if you sign up using the free 15-day trial with the offer code HAK5. See all the details over at Carbonite.com. It is once again time for the Technolist Photo of the Week. What do we have? Ah, the Technolist Photo of the Week. This is from IRCT. He sends us a photo of one of his first things that he did with his Arduino board. Pretty cool. I like nice this. Little hack the Technolist. Little. Yeah, the Technolist. Ouch. Yeah. If you guys want to share a picture that might be in a future episode of Hack 5, email us. Feedback at hack5.org. Also, it's time for trivia because I love some trivia. What was last week? Last week's trivia question was, this German hacker in the 1980s called himself Hagbard, and it, he was first involved in a Cold War computer espionage incident. Very interesting. And the answer no is Carl Warner Luthar Koch. I think that's his name. Yeah, I okay. know. <laughs> really long name and kind of confusing for me. And I'm sure we got a bajillion <laughs> answers anyway. We did. You know? Yeah, that's always how it goes. And this week's question is, who is this real-life Tron, a German hacker and a freaker that built the prototype Cryptophon? A, a real-life Tron. A real-life Tron, yeah. This one I'm interested in. <laughs> Be sure to answer over at hack5.org slash trivia for a chance to win some sweet Hack5 swag. Mm, delicious. Okay. So, um, you guys know that you need to subscribe just so that you get this stuff delivered to you automatically all the time. It's going to be great. You'll uh, just get your Technolist delivered weekly. Yeah. Or actually three times iTunes, a week. iTunes, YouTube, five. where else? Yeah. Roku box. Everywhere you can. Can we get in on Xbox yet? Go to hack5.org slash subscribe for all the details on all the places you can get it delivered to you. And, you know. Download it. Yeah. That's how or I do it. Or over at hack5.org. <laughs> and you can get your favorite Hack5 goodies over at hackshop.com. I run it all by myself. Guys, don't help me at all. Oh, whatever. I okay. folded some shirts right. last week. You did fold a couple of shirts. That is true. And we have our brand new Ninja Star, which is like totally epic. Those are lots That's of fun. That's on, yep. And That's then the Uber Tooths and all sorts of great stuff. It's going to be good. Yeah, and you know what else is good is the hack tips. You need to find out all about the, we've been, we're just crazy about them because they're just so much fun. And it's kind of a different variety than this kind of more laid back Hack yeah, five style. Chill. You know, we're just chill. We're just having. Where's just my chill. beer? Where's where my beer? Anyway, <laughs> you have like root beer, and you can follow us on Twitter mm -hmm. and Facebook to get all the most up to date news on the Hack Five. You're gonna want to do that. On uh, unfortunately, we don't have a Google Plus thing yet because they don't have it for businesses yet. Oh, I wish but, they uh, did. I wish but do they did. follow on Twitter and Facebook and when whatnot because uh, coming up here in the beginning of August, we are going to be at DefCon, and it just so happens that it's August my first DEF fifth. Con. August fifth is our six year anniversary of doing Hack 5. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So God, that's, I feel so old. That's going to be, well, you are. You're just decrepit. You're just falling apart. Anyway, um, so that's all happening uh, on, at DEF CON, the 4th to the 7th. So if you're going, be sure to tune into our Twitter and Facebook and see where we are going to be partying. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of partying, we will be partying at the end of August as well. It's just going to be like an entire month of partying because that will be wait. the debut of season 10. I know. That's going to be so exciting. So we're going to let you guys know about that right now. Six months uh, ahead of time, let you know that we're going to be partying here in Point Richmond. That is uh, the tip of the East Bay uh, here in the Bay Area. So if you're in California and you want to come out, it would be great to see you guys. Awesome. Or so, Nevada. Yeah, just stay tuned to uh, hack5.org and Twitters and the Facebooks for all of the uh, details on when we're going to have the event bright or whatever it is. So you can sign up and RSVP. We'd love to see you guys. We would. All right. Without further ado, I think that, I'm saying uh, goodbye. that covers it all. Au revoir. <laughs> I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. Trust your Technolust.
We has a jib. A jibbity jib. Jibbity jib. Jibbity jib. Jibbity jib. Can I do one more? Let's do one more. Nimble, nimble, nimble. Do -do 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 -do. Nibble! The alternate is I take off my jacket, I come over, I tie my shoes. That's moving too much. That's not English. That got verbose there at the end, didn't it? Meh. <laughs>